Welcome back to At Home with Roby. I'm Patrick McIsaac from Roby Electric, along with Trent Hasten from the Roby Family of Companies. Trent, Kayleen McCabe, she gone, but she left an impression. She gone, but that woman is, boy, she made me tired. Got my heart rate up. That's what they tell me at the Y. And she Did said your she... heart rate come down between segments? Lord, no. <laughs> yeah. And she just said she didn't even drink any coffee this morning. And I know... She's in Colorado, so she's a couple hours behind. It's still, still pretty early for her, so she yeah. said she's a morning person. So we're lucky to have her uh, not only as a guest but in the industry and as an advocate for for what we need in this industry, and that's that's a, that's a workforce. Uh, our next workforce is what we're after. Um, and, and she, I mean, I put her up there with Mike Rowe as some of the, 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 the sort of the catalyst to get this message out nationwide. No, and I think it's gaining momentum. She said it. I mean, it's just repetition, and she said the money – that they can be made. I think I think the money in cor- corporate world is getting right. behind it. Uh, I was going to ask her who the big the big hitters in the Skills USA and Skills International are funding it because they need a shout out because it's a smart business move for them. I mean, to, to put your money behind these kids, the ki- kids that want to work hard. I mean, you know, I, we need. We need the the next batch of, of skilled trades workers, which are, which are the youth, but also. To Kayleen's point, I think she's going to have something coming out. We'll have to have her back on in a couple months. We need women. We need diversity of all uh, 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 of nationalities. I mean, it's cool that the Skills International is in Abu Dhabi. I mean, and she's going to be there. Uh, so I, I just love that, and I think there's so much of an opportunity as the world's become so diverse for the skilled trades and, and the people in the construction industry right. to to match what what's out there what the buyer is and and help build build to that target so it's very exciting well and, and we talked about kayleen really got i guess she sort of blew up on the on the map with diy network and that that's where she had received her celebrity status and of course uh we're gonna put we got bo thompson in the house who's uh Who's filling in for TJ, our normal, our normal producer? So we, we're just surrounded by celebrities. Shane. I don't know what you to guys do have here. to understand. Something that uh, <laughs> back in the day, I used to be the supervisor for what TJ does. This okay. is before TJ got here, but I've worked here for a long time in in various different capacities. So everybody keeps looking at me like what, you're going to do. I, I used this is what I grew up doing. So this is my home, this studio. I grew up in here. So you guys are in good hands. Not quite TJ hands, but I know what I'm doing back here. <laughs> We're going to get TJ talking more. I think TJ I think TJ's got a radio voice. Yeah, and we, we've gotten to know TJ quite well. I mean, we, we've been doing this for a couple, you know, almost two, two full years, really, really two, two years. years. Yeah, over two years. We, we, we've just passed that and uh, gotten to know TJ on a personal level. We do need to get TJ talking. Don't you think, Bo? Get oh, him yeah. over here. TJ's got all kinds of things to say. I mean, he's he's in there with Hancock every afternoon <laughs> yeah. and there's all kinds of things going on there, but TJ's TJ's a great guy. He's one of the best. The cool thing is, I mean, Bo, you're a local Charlotte guy. Uh, TJ's a local, you know, from upstate Georgia. South Carolina, whatever. Georgia's all the same to me. You, you're from the South. <laughs> Easy, you know. buddy. Hey, hey. <laughs> you living here now. You, That's right. You, you living not, off I'm the Carolinas. I'm you not living going off back. the Carolinas, sucker. So, uh, but we had our first first week in 90 degree, 90 degree days. What y'all think about that? Welcome to the river. This is it, you know, and now every every other day or every day, and I was talking about this on the morning show, we're kind of entered into that part of the season where, you know, you can have that pop-up storm just about every day, right. yep. even though it may not be officially forecast. I mean, that, that's kind of the, the drill for the summer months. Yeah, I remember, I mean, like my vivid memory of this season, you have about four weeks left of school, talking about it with my kids this week on the way to school, doing the day countdown. I'm trying to get them all into it. They like school so much, man. They're not even like all into it. I was like, I got 18 days, 27 <laughs> oh, minutes, and gosh. 32 seconds. <clears throat> I don't think there was a better feeling in the world than that last bell ring on the last day of school. I mean, especially in high school, papers would go flying, kids are running out. <clears throat> I mean, it's just euphoric. But I remember at Berry Hill Elementary School oh. in the second grade. So I got a third grader and a, a second grader, and we we watched the video on tornadoes and practiced tornado drill. And in and, and those afternoons, you know, three three o'clock in the afternoon, you could have this pop-up storm. And, and that was just kind of my vivid memory as a child. Now, fortunately, in the Carolinas, we, we, we haven't had that many tornadoes, but but they do come with territory. So, 
Yeah, I, I remember that was the most uncomfortable position in the world. You remember getting down on your knees with your hands over your head? And I always wondered, you know, the teachers would walk around behind you when you were doing that. So it was like, is, this, is it really a tornado or the kids being a little unruly? And it's like, hey, this is a way to calm them all down. Well, now they call it the downward dog, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I remember not having air conditioning uh, in those, you know, you would, you would really uh, – Parts of the building had air conditioning, but parts didn't. And the ones that did not, you remember these, not only do you remember the, the last month, you know, May and the oh, early yeah. June, but also, you know, late August and early September. It got kind of hot in those classrooms. Well, Patrick, I'm sure you were sweating with that that wad of hair you have on top of your hair. <laughs> hey, guys, and I, I grew up out a little bit north of Atlanta. So, we, you know, take whatever temperature it is here and tack on about six, seven, eight degrees. And that's what we were dealing with uh, with the 100% humidity. I don't know, man. I think it's, I think it's equally think so? as hot. I mean, really. I, I, I beg to differ. I'll, I'll bring you down to, to Macon, Georgia sometime in the middle of July and see what you say. Them flies be landing <laughs> on my head, right on my big forehead like a landing strip. <laughs> <laughs> it's more of a helipad for the flies. See, Bowie, you're a dude. We, Trent's forehead comes up in about every every episode. Well, I, he thinks he's got a big forehead. He makes fun of my hair. Uh, see, so, I can't even see his face because I've got the computer screen in front of me, so I'm having to go. That's by design, Bo. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> strategically <laughs> placed, right? It's maybe, called hair envy. <laughs> maybe you couldn't see his face because the light's sort of beaming off his oh, forehead. Lord. <laughs> oh, Lord. Good. See, you, act, you tried to act like my forehead wasn't that big, and now you're <laughs> ca- capitalizing on my problem. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need a regular segment with you guys in the morning, is what I think. Oh goodness my goodness! Gracious. We've been talking. I think we've been talking about that for years. We've just been waiting for the call, <laughs> yeah, Bo. Exactly, Bo. <laughs> this is by design, right? TJ's not yeah. really late. He's out in the yeah. hall. We, we, TJ, tied, we tied him up in the back. <laughs> no, he's our broker. <laughs> I mean, come on, TJ. What you got, dog? So we got about thirty seconds, Trent. Um, Kayleen McCabe, go back and listen to the, the podcast, uh, segment two and segment three. If, you, if you've listened to us talk about workforce development uh, on this show ever, I mean, this is, this is the, the queen of the message right here. Go listen to her talk. She's extremely energetic, and, and she's just fun to listen to, Trent. It is, she is, and we're proud to, we're proud to force, uh, forge ahead in, the, in that endeavor for, for, for the kids. And, and come on, guys, get out there, work hard, and bring, bring it up. So, uh, Thank you both for joining us today. I hope everybody has a wonderful Sunday, and uh, we'll be back next week. Stay tuned.